What does it mean to leave a legacy of love? How can we as Christians embody this in our everyday lives? These are the questions we'll be exploring today as we delve into the profound topic of a legacy of love. As we embark on this journey, it's important to recognize that the concept of love holds an esteemed place in Christianity. It is the cornerstone of our faith, the commandment that Jesus Christ himself deemed as the greatest. But it's not just about feeling love, it's about living love. It's about expressing it through our actions, our words, and our willingness to serve others. This is the legacy of love that Christ has left us, and it's this legacy that we're called to carry forward. Now you might ask, why is this topic relevant to us today? Well, in a world that often seems to be teetering on the edge of division and despair, the need for love has never been greater. The kind of love that bridges divides, that heals wounds, that brings hope where there is despair. This is the kind of love that Jesus embodied and taught his followers to practice. And it's this love that we, as followers of Christ, are called to demonstrate in our everyday lives. But how do we do this? How do we live out this legacy of love in a world that often seems so resistant to it? The answer, as we'll find, lies in the teachings of the Bible and the example set by early Christians. It's about more than just feeling love. It's about expressing it through concrete actions. It's about serving others, even when it's inconvenient or uncomfortable. It's about embodying the selfless love of Christ in every aspect of our lives. As we explore this topic, we challenge ourselves to reflect on how we can embody this legacy of love. How can we live out this commandment in our daily lives? How can we serve others with the same selfless love that Christ showed us? And how can we leave our own legacy of love for future generations to follow? These are the questions we'll be exploring as we delve into this profound topic. So, let's dive in, shall we? And let's challenge ourselves to live out this legacy of love in our everyday lives. Love is the essence of Christianity, as highlighted in John 13 35 and 1 John 4 21. These passages aren't just snippets of biblical wisdom. They're the bedrock of our faith and the compass that guides our interactions with the world. Let's take a closer look at these verses and what they mean for us as we strive to live out a legacy of love. John 13 35 says, by this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Here Jesus directly links our identity as his followers to the love we show to others. It's not about the rituals we perform, the doctrines we profess, or the buildings we worship in. Our Christian identity is fundamentally about love, a love that is selfless, sacrificial, and transformational. Then we have 1 John 4.21 which states, And this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brother. This verse takes the call to love a step further. It's not just a suggestion or a good idea, it's a command, and this commandment is all-encompassing. It's not confined to our family, friends, or fellow believers. It extends to every brother and sister we encounter in our journey of life. When we look at these verses together, we see a compelling picture of the biblical commandment of love. It's not a passive sentiment or a fleeting emotion. It's a proactive, intentional act of the will. It's about reaching out to others even when it's inconvenient or uncomfortable. It's about putting others' needs above our own, just as Christ did for us. The early Christians truly embodied this commandment of love, even in the face of adversity. Love for them wasn't just a pleasant sentiment or a casual word tossed around. It was a lifestyle, a commitment, a force that shaped their interactions and informed their decisions. Let's take a moment to travel back in time to the second and third centuries. These were challenging times, marked by frequent pandemics that swept across the Roman Empire, causing widespread suffering and death. Fear was rampant, and people were desperate for hope, for relief. Amidst this bleak backdrop, the early Christians stood out like beacons of light. They did not run from the suffering, instead they ran towards it. They ministered to the sick and dying, often putting their lives at risk. Their love wasn't confined to their fellow believers, it extended to all, irrespective of their faith, social status, or nationality. One such observer of this phenomenon was Tertullian, an early Christian theologian. He noted with admiration the distinctive mark of Christians, their love for one another, and for their fellow human beings. This wasn't a passive, tepid love. It was active, vibrant, life-giving. It embodied the teachings of Jesus, translating his words into tangible, impactful actions. These actions did not go unnoticed. They touched hearts, stirred souls, and drew people to Christ. The Roman Empire, once steeped in paganism and division, started to experience a transformation. One soul at a time, one act of love at a time, the landscape began to change. Christianity started to spread, 
not through force or coercion, but through the captivating power of selfless love. Rodney Stark, in his work The Rise of Christianity, captures this beautifully. He highlights the sacrificial acts of these early believers, their willingness to serve, to love, to give of themselves. They were not just hearers of the word, they were doers, living testimonies of the love of Christ. This is the legacy of love that the early Christians left for us. It's a legacy that challenges us, inspires us, and calls us to action. It's a legacy that reminds us that our faith is not just about what we believe, but about how we live, how we love, how we serve. Their actions, driven by love, transformed the world around them and left a lasting legacy, a legacy that continues to echo through the centuries, a legacy that we are called to carry forward today. So let's take up this mantle of love, let's strive to live out this legacy in our daily lives. After all, love is more than just a commandment. It's the very heartbeat of our faith, the essence of who we are as followers of Christ. The call to love and serve is not conditional, it's the very essence of our faith. In our fast-paced digital age, living out this legacy of love may seem like a daunting task. However, the essence of this love remains unchanged. It's a love that goes beyond our comfort zones, reaches out to those in need and seeks to make a difference in the world around us. The early Christians set a powerful example, but how can we, as modern Christians, embody this legacy in our daily lives? Let's explore. Firstly, we can embody this love in our interactions with others. It's easy to fall into the habit of thinking about ourselves first, prioritizing our own interests and desires. But the legacy of love challenges us to shift our focus from ourselves to others. This might mean taking the time to listen to a friend who's going through a tough time, volunteering at a local charity, or simply offering a word of encouragement to someone who needs it. Secondly, we can embody this love in our attitudes towards those who are different from us. In a world that is often divided by race, religion, politics and more, the legacy of love calls us to bridge these divides. It calls us to see the image of God in every person and to treat them with the dignity and respect they deserve. Thirdly, we can embody this love through acts of kindness and service. Just as the early Christians served their communities during times of crisis, we too can find ways to serve those around us. This could be as simple as helping a neighbor with their groceries, or as profound as dedicating our lives to a cause that we are passionate about. Lastly, we can embody this love through our commitment to social justice. The legacy of love is not just about individual acts of kindness. It's also about challenging systems of oppression and working towards a world that reflects God's kingdom. This means standing up for those who are marginalized and oppressed, advocating for justice, and using our resources to promote equality and fairness. Living out this legacy of love in our daily lives may not be easy, but it is deeply rewarding. It allows us to become more like Christ, to grow in our faith, and to make a tangible difference in the world around us. In the words of Mother Teresa, not all of us can do great things but we can do small things with great love. It is these small acts of love multiplied across the world that can create a powerful wave of change. So let's challenge ourselves to live out this legacy of love every day. Let's strive to love others as Christ loves us, to serve as he served, and to be a beacon of his love in a world that so desperately needs it. It is through our actions guided by this legacy of love that we can truly impact the world around us. As we reflect on today's lesson, it's time to pose a challenge. Consider this. How can we as followers of Christ carry forth this legacy of love in our own lives? It's not merely about feeling affection for others, it's about demonstrating our love in tangible, impactful ways. In a world that often seems consumed by division and strife, how can we become beacons of hope and love? It's easy to love those who are easy to love, but the heart of Christ's message pushes us beyond this comfort zone. It challenges us to love the unlovable, to reach out to those who are different from us, to extend kindness to those who may not return it. Remember the early Christians didn't just speak about love, they lived it. They stepped into the messiness of people's lives offering comfort aid and a listening ear. They were willing to make sacrifices to put themselves at risk for the sake of others. This is the kind of love that changes hearts and transforms lives. So the challenge we pose to you today is this. How can you show the love of Christ in your life? How can you step out of your comfort zone to serve those around you? It might be as simple as offering a word of encouragement to a co-worker, lending a helping hand to a neighbor, or spending time with someone who is lonely. Remember, it's the small acts of love that often have the most significant impact. Don't underestimate the power of a kind word, 
a listening ear or a simple act of kindness. We're not just called to believe in Christ, we're called to act like Him, to love like Him. This is the legacy we're called to carry forward, a legacy of love that transcends boundaries, breaks down barriers and changes the world, one act of kindness at a time. We thank you for joining us today and challenge you to carry this legacy of love into your everyday life. Thank you for your time and engagement with today's lesson. We've journeyed through the landscape of a legacy of love, examining the biblical foundation of God's ultimate commandment to love one another. We've seen how this directive was not merely about forming a community, but rather a revolutionary act that set early Christians apart, even in a world rife with selfishness and division. Through the lens of history, we've looked at the early Christians' distinct mark of love, an active, life-giving force that shone brightly amid pandemics and fear. We've appreciated how they served the sick and dying, often at great personal risk, their actions drawing people to Christ and transforming the Roman Empire one soul at a time. We've also explored the modern application of this profound commandment. The call to love and serve is not conditional, it's the very essence of our faith. It challenges us to look beyond our interests, to die to self and to live for others. This selfless spirit is what draws people to Christ. It's what builds communities and changes the world. As we've reflected and challenged ourselves, we've asked, how can we embody this legacy of love in our own lives? How can we serve those around us, showing them the love of Christ in tangible, impactful ways? Your presence and participation have been invaluable, enriching our community and inspiring us to continue our journey in faith. We invite you to join us again for future lessons, where we'll delve deeper into the understanding and strengthening of our walk with God. As we part ways today, let's carry with us the lessons learned, the challenges issued, and the love shared. Let's strive to embody the sacrificial love of Christ in our daily lives, impacting our world one act of love at a time. May God bless you abundantly, and may His love guide you in everything you do.